five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Everybody, it's Alex Bennett, and this is the Ramble. It usually goes on till midnight. We'll see if I can do it that long tonight. Uh, and hello to all of you. Uh, I, uh, uh, gee, I, I, you know, I'm getting to the point in life where it doesn't seem worth living any longer. You know, uh, I've been. I came on tonight. And I was going to play an interview with Larry Bubbles Brown, and then we're going to do the show as usual. And I just, I can't do it. I just, you know, I'm tapped out emotionally. Um, it, mostly the, the, you know, I've got, uh, I've got prostate cancer. Uh, nobody worry about that because it's being managed. And uh, I just had a bunch of radiation treatments. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to have some seeds put in my prostate, and that's going to be it for the time being. And hopefully, that isn't what's going to kill me. But what is going to kill me um, are people who just make my life a living hell. Um you know, if I've talked about this legal situation with this apartment that's been going on interminably. I think we're into our, I, I believe we're into our sixth year now. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're pretty much into our sixth year. And um, I, um, it, it, it just goes, has gone on and on and on. And Again, you know, I've said before any number of times, if you've listened to me, and I'm not going to talk about the case itself because the judge says, don't talk about this case to anybody. Well, you know, why? Um, but you do know that I have been involved in a uh, legal battle uh, regarding this apartment we live in. And when it started out, as I was saying last night, it was like, uh, well, if it, to buy in, you got to come up with five thousand bucks. So we came up with five thousand bucks, and we gave them five thousand bucks, and we figured that'll last us a little bit. It lasted about a minute and a half, okay? And then there was another lawyer's fee and another lawyer's fee, and Marjorie has a uh, um, um, what do you call it? A, a loan on her apartment uh, that she can get. It's a, not an improvement loan or anything like that. It's just a loan against it that she can use for anything she wants to. And God bless her, she's been using that money to, to pay off the lawyers for this, uh, this whole deal. And uh, that money is starting to run out, okay? I mean, um, uh, it, it's starting to run out because the, the bills are mounting up. As I said last night, last month's bill alone for this thing cost us $20,000, okay? Now, when I got, we got the bill the month before was for uh, 10000 11000 uh, In two months, we play, p paid over $30,000 in, l in legal fee fees for this thing. And at some point, you say to yourself, you know, uh, yeah, I, I guess I can come up with the money if I want to completely throw ourselves into destitution in our later years. You know, I had some money squirreled away for our old age, and now I'm having to dip into that to pay for this. And the question is, how long do we keep paying for it? You know, how much is this going to cost us to get hard? We probably won't recover what we've spent. And even if we sue for uh, and we prevail for the uh, legal fees, then I got to get them to pay the legal fees, and then I got to hire the lawyer to go after them on the legal fees. I mean, it it it's never ending, and eventually, it is going to leave Marjorie and I destitute. 
because we, you know, we're not made of money, okay? She still works at her job so she can pay off the loan that she's taken to pay off these bills, and God bless her, but I'd like her to be able to retire and to kind of enjoy retirement with me. Uh, but it, it doesn't look like that's likely to happen anytime soon. And it just seems like the lawyers just don't give a shit. They just keep sending these fucking bills. And when I look at the bills, half of it is for them, you know, sitting on the can reading pay, uh, uh, documents about the case and then charging it to us at uh, $450 an hour. So, you know, I mean... It just has gotten to the point where it's just really got me just absolutely irrevocably depressed. On top of that, I wrote my lawyer a letter the other day. I said to him exactly what I'm saying to you right now. You know, I mean, this is we're, we're, we're getting tapped out when it comes to money. But more than that, being tapped out because of the money um, is, is, is just a small part of it. It's just the whole toll it's taking on us. And I said, quite frankly, at this point, we're considering bailing out. Uh, and, and that's a hard thing to do. When you're 100000 into something, uh, you know, the question is, do you bail out and lose the 100000 Or do you stay in and hope you'll get some of it back? Uh, I say, you don't know what to do. But I told him that we were considering bailing out unless he could come up with a good reason why we shouldn't. And he wrote me back, and he said, uh, I'm in the middle of something that I have to finish by the end of the day, and then I will get back to you. Well, how many days has it been now? Two days? Two, two days? Yeah, two days since I sent that letter. Um, I sent that letter on the 10th, so 10th, 11th, 12th. Yeah, two days. Haven't heard back from him. I guess when he maybe when he heard the words that were tapped out and running out of money, uh, he lost interest. I don't know. But in any event, I mean, I don't think so. He seems to be like a decent guy and so on, and he's probably got other things he's got to do, you know, rather than listen to some guys, people gripe about the fact they're running out of money. But I warned him before. Be careful how much time you spend on this because we're not made of money, you know, and it's running out. And uh, he, he said, uh, well, we're doing what we can, you know. Well, I just, I don't know that maybe we haven't spent way too much on the lawyers. That's one thing I, I wonder. I don't know. I don't have anything to compare it to. But I sit here and I get more and more irrevocably depressed about this. And for a guy who all his life has feared death, is starting to embrace the idea that it might be a relief from this whole thing that's been going on. I mean, is this any way for me to end my life? Is this the end, uh, uh, the the way for my uh, my life to to uh, uh, end itself in this kind of of horrible horrible situation? Which, so, uh, which we're not responsible for. It wasn't like we did something wrong and then people sued us for doing something wrong. We did nothing wrong. We did absolutely nothing wrong. I swear, hand to God, you know, uh, it didn't do anything. Let me just adjust this a little bit. It's annoying me that it's there. Yeah, there we go. Um, you know, it just it just annoys me that it, it uh, that, that that we're being put upon in this situation by a bunch of people, uh, not the least of which are the lawyers, not the least of which is the legal system, which just doesn't seem to be able to understand that. Hey, you know, some people are not made of money. Some people cannot afford this kind of shit, and um, I just don't I don't know what to do about it. You know, Marjorie said, let's do a GoFundMe. Yeah, we'll get 30 cents. We'll get on a GoFundMe. Um, you know, um, if there's anybody out there with a uh, free, uh, oh, say, $30,000 who, who wants to give it to us and, and, and finance our, our plight, uh, we'll be happy to take it. But uh, that's what I see as being 
the cost of the rest of this thing, okay? If that, maybe more. Um, yes, I have it, and I can spend it, and then Marjorie and I can have absolutely nothing for our old age. And are we going to win this case? Well, I'm, you know, I think we will. I think we will prevail. But that doesn't mean we're going to get anything out of it. Here's what happens, okay? Let's say we're having the trial now. And this trial, by the way, when it's over with, it's going to have lasted seven days. Come on. I know murder trials that last shorter. I think Roger Stone's trial was shorter than that. Um, I mean, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It is just absolutely ridiculous. And I blame everybody. I blame the lawyers, and I blame the judges, and I blame the judges' assistants, and I blame uh, the legal system that doesn't say, hey, you know, there has to be some kind of protection for people who are frivolously uh, sued. I mean, this is a frivolous action against us, but frivolous is costing so far $100,000. I don't know if any of you feel sorry for me, and I don't want you to feel sorry for me, but I want you to know that, quite frankly, it makes it very difficult for me to come here and do a program and talk to you and talk to you about stuff. And I, you know, I, I, it just bothers me that we have a legal system that doesn't protect, especially in civil actions, people who are being frivolously sued. And this is a frivolous action. This is an action that somebody just he lopped us in with the, with the landlord on it. Okay, what could we do? Well, we had to countersue, and we had to countersue uh, on uh, a cause that we were taken advantage of and that he broke the law and so on. But we wouldn't have done any of that if he hadn't sued us. You know, by this time, we'd probably be living someplace else right now and still have some of our money left. <sighs> you know, it, 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 if, if, if I had done something wrong, if Marjorie had done something wrong, then this would be no less than we deserve. But that's not the case. We did absolutely nothing absolutely nothing wrong except to rent an apartment from somebody who, quite frankly, was running a scam. All right? And, and, and we didn't know that, and we didn't, we, don't, we didn't know what the law was on apartments and things like that, and uh, uh, we, were, we were just really good people about this, you know? We, we, we were, all we wanted was a nice apartment to live in, and we were very happy to find it, and we were very happy to be able to uh, afford, at least at that point, to pay the rent on it, because I was still working. And um, we, we were just delighted with the whole thing, okay? Uh, but that's not the case, okay, now. We, this, is, this is turned into a just a horrible horrible situation and uh, I, I gotta tell you I just don't know how to how to deal with it I don't know how to how to uh, parse it in my mind all I can do I go try to go to sleep at night and then I have to take a Xanax to put me to sleep because I'm all I can think about is 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 the hatred and the I feel for a lot of the people involved in this case one person in particular uh, who uh, is a, uh, I don't even want to get into it. I don't want to, I don't want it to be used in court against me. Use this in court against me. If you hear this court, we're running out of money, you know, and this thing has driven us broke. And it was only because we, we weren't even really protecting ourselves. We were just, deciding that if he's going to sue us, well, okay, our lawyers suggested we sue him back, and that's exactly what we did. And we have, I think, just cause for suing him back. But uh, we got dragged into this. We did, not, uh, we did not do this of our own accord. 
Uh, we did not do anything to hurt anybody or to steal money from people or to run a scam on somebody or anything like that. In fact, we're the only party in this whole thing out of the three of them, you know, that didn't do anything. We just sat around and we were innocent victims of, of what was a, uh, at best, a, 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 a questionable act of, of leasing this apartment. Um, let me just say that, you know, that, that I... Uh, this has really distressed me, and it's really distressed me, and it's distressed me for Marjorie as well. I think it's taken a toll on her health. Um, uh, certainly she hasn't been well as of late, a lot of little different problems, nothing major, but enough that I realize that it's the strain of having to keep working to keep paying for this goddamn suit that is, is, is hurting her. And as for me, it's, you know, I'm fighting cancer, okay? Now, granted, it's a, I think, a curable cancer and one which I'm not going to have trouble Cure, taking care of. Um, but nevertheless, one needs every bit of positive physical feeling that they can have. And feeling this way about this situation could make it worse. Uh, it's a very curable cancer. But the people involved in this case are killing us. I'm 80. She's 76. And maybe she doesn't like me saying that, but she's 76, and she's letting her hair go gray, finally. And it's looking pretty good. Uh, I never thought I'd, I'd be married to a sexy, old, gray-haired, sexy woman, you know? Um, but it has taken a toll on our health, and all because of the selfishness of one particular individual, um, I'm not going to fault the landlords in this thing. Uh, they're just fighting the case as they normally fight the case. They're landlords. But they aren't against us. In fact, they consider us part of their case rather than them, you know. Uh, we, were, we were sued along with them. And, and uh, they've, been, they've been, at least in court, very civil and very nice to me. And uh, I have nothing against the landlord. They've also, you know, they've treated us well while we've been here. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't fault uh, them. Um, it is one individual who has just taken it upon himself to be selfish and a bully and has made our life a living hell. And if he feels good about that, then I'm happy for him because he should feel good about something because he can't feel good about himself. Uh, it is, has just been anguishing for me to have to put up with this. And uh, it, it, I find it difficult to come on here and do a show and to enjoy doing a show and to involve myself in the discussion in a good wholehearted way. And it's also impossible for me to come on here without talking about this and I don't think any of this would hurt my, my legal situation because I'm not really talking about the case, but I am talking about how I feel about some of the people involved in the case or one particular person involved in the case. Um, I think, you know, this person has single-handedly ruined our lives. And uh, I don't know what the next step is. Because the next step, you know, the questionable next step is, here's what happens. Okay, so, okay, I take a lot of my money, a lot of the retirement money that I had squirreled away, and I spend it on this. Let's just say I do. Let's say it's another $40,000 and I shell that out. Okay? All right. Still be some money left over. Not a lot, but there'll be some money left over. Um, and let's say I do that. Here's the thing. There are three people involved, three, three parties involved in this case. And at least one of these parties is not going to be happy with the outcome. And at least one of these parties, or perhaps two of these parties, are going to appeal the case 
no matter how it turns out. And that goes to an appellate court, which is another very expensive process, which could take another two years. I'm, I'm betting appeals court, okay? I'm betting that it isn't going to end here and now and that uh, somebody's going to be unhappy because they got to shell out a couple of hundred thousand dollars. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think this case is just going to keep going on and on and on. So the question is, when do I and when does Marjorie bail out of this thing? When do we say we've had enough with this, we can't afford it any longer, uh, let's not let it use up any more of money that we already have on hand, okay? Uh, and so that's the decision we've got to make. And I would like to make it with my lawyer if he would call me back. But apparently he's not going to. So what the fuck? You know, I guess I'll have to... Um, um, uh, 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 have to have to just wait and hear if I'm going to hear from him. So anyway, so that's it. You know, that's that's how I'm feeling right now. And I I just did. I was going to play bubbles, doing an interview with bubbles, and then I was going to do the show and blah, blah blah blah. And I just I just you know I didn't feel like it. In fact, I haven't turned on all the lights in this studio. This is actually low lighting for me. I mean, I could even go lower with it, but uh, see, I've got this thing where I can I can turn it I can turn it down, or I can turn it up, you know. Here I can turn up, or I can turn it down. I can turn it even lower. Oh, that's nice. That's that's, that's not too uh, too bad. Okay. Anyway, um, so uh, I'm sorry I have to, you know lay that on you, and, um, uh, you know, I, what the fuck, you know, oh, excuse me, now I said, I said that word, and, oh, that's the other thing, I gotta tell you this about YouTube, I'm getting increasingly up, just uh, bothered by them, greatly, last night, okay, now, last night again, this happened, uh, I do the show, Okay, I think a couple of four-letter words were said on the show, but nothing overt, you know. Uh, and um, all of a sudden, uh, when I go to the, the... There are two versions of this show that are up every day. There's the version that um, YouTube has recorded as I'm doing the show, and then it processes later on. And then there's one which I am recording right now, okay? And then I take that recording and I post it as well. So the one that says live from YouTube, okay, the one that says live from YouTube um, is, um, uh, uh, is, the, is the one that was recorded here. The other one is the one that was recorded at YouTube. Um, oh well, now they've they did it. They've done made both shows from last night. Um, oh, I see. Okay, now both shows have been uh, uh, <laughs> have been uh, have been um, um, unsuitable for most advertisers. So you're probably asking yourself why, when you play any either one of those, there's an advertisement. I have no idea, folks. No idea at all. So let me see. Request review. Okay. So I'm going to request a review on the latest show. Request manual review. Okay. I confirm this is suitable for all advertisers. And now I, you know what, it, you know what's wrong with it? What's wrong with what they do? They don't tell you. They don't tell you why they're against it. Okay. They they just uh, say that uh, oh oh it, it uh, it's not suitable for all for most advertisers. Well, I'd like to know why. You know, I I have no idea why. Um, and by the time, by the way, by the time they finally maybe review it and say it's okay, it's not okay anymore. 
So, uh, but uh, I do, I, the, I, what I found is, is that if I were to like take the one, the most recent one here, that they just, just said wasn't that, and I, and I started playing, sometimes it starts playing without, uh, um, without, um, uh, with a commercial. So, you know, I don't know what that's all about, but that's also getting me down. Uh, because those people over at YouTube are, they are absurd. Uh, and the, I'm looking for an alternative. Uh, I don't want to go over to Facebook because it's just another mediocre piece of crap. Uh, you know, but I mean, uh, what happens is they tell you that it's not suitable for advertising, but then it won't tell you what on the show wasn't suitable. Now, our program, like especially last night, is loaded with political discussion, right? Uh, I want to know if it's the political discussion that bothered them. And if that's the case, wow. But they don't tell you why. They just say it wasn't suitable for you. Well, why? Tell me. Just write me a small note. It wasn't because at such and such a time you said blah, blah, blah. Um. Well, there was too much blah, blah, blah on your show last night. You know, I mean, it's just bullshit. Excuse me. There we go. Just another another flag will go up tonight. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stop monetizing these shows. You know, it, it's not uh, not going to do me any good anyway. Um, I mean, I, as I told you, they, 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 they said uh, not suitable for advertisers, for a thing I did the other day, which um, uh, was just raw footage of my trip to Ibiza in 1993 that I just put up because I saw that an Ibiza uh, presentation that I did have is one of the most um, visited, in fact, the most visited uh, videos that I have of over almost 6,000 people. So I figured, hey, that'd be good for advertising. They, they, I had to appeal it, okay? And then after appealing it, they went, oh, okay, you're all right, all right. We, we, we've decided you're, you're okay. I don't need that, you know? I don't need that. I don't need any of this. Oh, God. Am I depressed? I'm sorry if I'm this way. I'm sorry if this is what this show has become, is me just being depressed on the air. Uh, our lines are open if you want to talk, you know. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know. I mean, really, I, I, I'm beginning to say to myself, why am I going through all this treatment for prostate cancer? Why don't I just let it kill me? Okay? Because if I, if I just let it kill me, uh, I, should be, I should be okay, you know. Then I, then I have a way to go. Okay, I have an exit plan, um, but uh, you know, what the, what the hell? Anyway, is anybody gonna call, or am I just gonna sit here, uh, just uh, not having anybody call? Okay, is it is it, or or do I just say that's it for tonight? Well, I guess I do. Mm hmm. Our lines are open. Oh, there we go. There's Scott Boddicker. Here comes Scott. I like Scott. Scott's a good guy. He's in the dark, too, tonight. So, you know. Oh, let me uh, shut you off on the other machine. Okay, shut me off on the other machine, Mr. Boddicker. There you are, sir. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. There's me. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. He's watching me on his... I'm uh, complaining on that one, but not on this one. I'm a little yeah. behind him. Here comes Charlie Wallace. Let me see here. Um, Charlie Wallace. Uh, we get him on uh, in the second place. Well, wait a minute. Cancel. Let's wait a second. Sometimes I, I do it too fast, and he, I don't see him on our, uh, on our thing here. There's Charlie Wallace. Okay. And uh, let's see. Phil Meyer is calling. Uh, I'm sure you like that, Scott. Uh, let me see Hello? here. Um, am I, all right, hold on a second. Uh, uh, let me see here. Where do I go? I'm going to do this, double this. Oh, 
Wait a minute, where is a uh, oh, scuba diver? There he is. Okay, there we go. There we go. We got we got three people already. Wow, that's that's not bad. Um, hello to all of you this evening. Uh, uh, first of all, how are you, Scott Boddicker? We haven't talked to you in a while. I'm I'm doing probably better than you are. It sounds like. Yeah. Well, I'm just you know. I know. I'm. I feel I. I, I've never been sued. I never want to be sued, but man, I just, I don't I have no advice for you. I have no idea what to do. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, there's no, there's, there's, there's no exit except to just get out of it. Okay. You know, and just give up on it and, and say, okay, so we spent a hundred thousand dollars. Goodbye. You know, why spend a hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you know, and, and, and only get back 50, you know? So yeah, I mean, they can't give you an upper limit of, of cost, can they? I mean, no, it just keeps no, going on and on. right, right. You know, it's a scam, like you said, it's you know, uh, and it's not like I've got terrible lawyers or anything like that. Yeah. But obviously, if they were better lawyers, it would have been finished by now. <laughs> but you know, I mean, this thing just goes on and on and on and on, and I mean. Okay, so I maybe I should sue for frivolous action. Okay, the guy the guy is suing me, is suing us frivolously. There's no question about that. But you know, it just costs more lawyers. There's no cheap way of handling this, and the only people after all is said and done, the only per people they're going to get out of there with their hats in their hands are the lawyers. I mean, there are three different sets of lawyers. I imagine all spending approximately what we're spending. If not, we're we should be spending the least of anybody because we have the the least case, or the, not the least case, the the least serious case, the the one that's easiest enough to defend. Um, but let so all three lawyers, this three hundred thousand dollars has been made on this so far by the legal profession. I mean, come on, this is only about a fucking apartment. Excuse me, YouTube. I gave you some advice last night. What? I gave you some advice last night. You got to talk to a lawyer who has no skin in the game. Your lawyer. Oh yeah, yeah. I need to go to another lawyer, Phil, and spend another four hundred and fifty bucks an hour. Only for some advice. No, who do I go to for the advice, Phil? An, a, a, another lawyer who will tell me my lawyers are doing it all wrong. Come see me. Here's here's me at four fifty an hour, Phil. I know this. I've been through this. All right, fine. Do you know? No, I mean, I mean, go get another. Go get another opinion. What? Well, what? What other? Grand. What? What other four hundred and fifty dollars for the guy to tell you the truth? But deep, but how do I know he's telling me the truth, Phil? Skin in the game. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But he, he, they all have skin in the game. Uh, the guy who has skin in the game, your guys have a hundred grand. Now they don't call you back because you're thinking about pulling out, which means you're not going to be uh, a, a paying customer anymore. So therefore, you got to talk to somebody. Say, look, you know, I just need your opinion on where do these things go. What should I expect? And and is this what I, I know exactly what to expect? You know, I, sure. you don't think you don't think that. Uh, for instance, I have a business ma manager who knows a lot of lawyers. He yeah. talks to them all the time. He knows what's up here. He 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 can give me that advice. Uh, you know, talk to him. I've talked to him. And what did he tell you to do? He didn't have. He's just mad at the lawyers. That's all. Then that's that's not what you need, Phil. Phil. Believe me, going to another lawyer is not going to improve the situation. It's not for him to tell me, okay, so the other lawyer says, hey, you're wasting your money. Get out of it. When you were told you had cancer, did you get a second opinion? Uh, uh, I went and got a second opinion, yes. Well, that's what I'm telling you to do. Well, you're wrong. Of course. No, you're wrong. No, I'm serious, Phil. You're wrong. Hundred grand into this. Phil, thing. you're it's wrong. It isn't a matter it. of somebody who doesn't have skin in the game. If I go to another lawyer, how do I know that lawyer doesn't want my business? So he does have a skin in the game. Well, you're not going to give him your business. He, you no, then he's going to say, "Why did you come to see me?" Because you want somebody to honestly tell you what the fuck is what is going. 
Goosey. Well, well, there, well there goes my YouTube for tonight. Okay. <laughs> So you just got to get out there and and bleep these things, and then they won't uh, demonetize you. Well, you know, I uh, that's another thing. I got to do something about this. Uh, what? Get a seven second thing and just the no, I'm not going to bleep this show. What the hell? We're on the internet for crying out loud. Yeah, but look, you can get a dollar twenty five if you, you know. Bleep yeah, I mean, there are advertisers advertising anyway. I don't know what that whole thing is about. You know. But you don't get the money. Yeah, no, I get it. Oh, you get it if they advertise. Yeah, if Where uh, are somebody advertisers. Yeah, I haven't seen one when I look on things. Well, if you go to if you go to if you go to YouTube, and go to the last night's show, maybe you were looking at Facebook, for uh, instance. No, I was I was looking at your your Gabnet live site. Oh, and I watched. Oh, a oh shows. okay, that's no. not uh, the okay. the only thing that's a YouTube uh, is up at the, uh, the very corner. Sure, okay. yeah, Alex, you want to feel good about it? You know who's advertising on your site? Who? Gold. Really? <laughs> Tom Hartman. I know. <laughs> you know, but wouldn't that be, uh, you know, uh, you know, what do they call it? Um, yeah. Uh, oh, hey. Y yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, but I mean, it's just uh, the whole thing is just it's just uh, it, 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 it's just daunting, you know, and it never stops. It never stops. I mean, you know damn well that somebody's going to win in this case. Somebody's going to lose in this case. Well, and and maybe two people are going to lose in this case. And you know this is going to be appealed. Can you join the landlord's case? They, they call it a, a join or, a, you know, where you join with them. Their attorneys then handle the whole thing. You become a friendly to the landlord and, the, and you get represented under the landlord's thing. No. Uh, I forgot exactly. because we were we were sued we were all sued separately. Yeah. Well, you. Yeah. Nope. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Phil. I'm glad to hear that you passed the law bar, the bar. So, so and so my medical so exam. Alex, are they suing you for money or just to move out? They're just suing us to move out. And this is this is not the landlord. This is the yeah. person who rented the apartment and then rented it to us. Okay, so I, I, I so, didn't know what they were after. I didn't know what they were. The after. landlord says he's perfectly happy to have us live here, you know. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, we've even almost negotiated a price for staying here. All right. Okay. So it, it's not the landlord that's the problem, but uh, it, it, this guy's suing both the landlord and us. And and how we got dragged into this, I have no idea, you know. But by dragging us into it. He caused himself more misery because we then had to countersue him. And we're countersuing him that it was illusory tenancy and that he made it, we signed a lease and it was, it was actually should have been a sublet. And if it was a sublet, right. we would have right. never I, taken I, it. Yeah, you know, know, we go through that whole story. Okay. Yeah. That's the main story. Um, and, um, uh, it, you know, I mean, um, it's it, it we didn't do anything. We're not we're the only ones not being accused of any financial malfeasance, you know? So 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 if you ignored the guy suing you, mm -hmm. what could he do? Can he get the sheriff to come in there and evict you? You can't ignore no, him. No, he they... he couldn't have done that, but he sued us, so we have to somehow defend ourselves, even if it's not counter suing him. You can just tell him to F off. You can't exactly do that. When you get sued, you get ser served with papers. And then you have to show up. And then you have up. to you have you have to show up. You know, it's not like I mean, I wish that were the answer. I would have done that a long time ago. That's what the that's what the Trump administration did to Congress. Yeah, I heard. mean, yeah, you, you know, know, you're yeah, right. You're right. It only works for Trump. It, it only works for Trump. Yeah. No, it works for everybody now. No, it doesn't. Don't. I know people right now that are in jail for ignoring a subpoena. Oh, these guys are joining my law firm, Alex. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Do we cheat them and how? <laughs> just, just, oh, just, average person like you and me, if we ignore a subpoena, they will slam us in the slammer so fast our head will spin. Exactly. Well, at least you got a place to stay. <laughs> yes, I mean, rent free. Exactly. Three squares. Come yeah. on, man. It's free. I didn't Reach think I, I didn't think lots about lots of friends to play with. I didn't think about the positive <laughs> side of all of this. Let the free you snack. Know. You know. 
But my other thing is I, I could then take all the money I've got in the bank and I could invest it in this project and hope that it comes out okay, you know. Uh, but that, you know, I just, I just, it, it just, what well, the insanity of it is, is that there's so many times there's small people who get involved in something like this. Yeah. And, and they, unfortunately, they don't have the kind of money we do, it's you know. It's a pissing match. Huh? It's a, it gets to be a pissing match. Well, it, 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 especially if you have one person in the, in the equation who's stubborn. I mean. Well, if, if you're it, thinking about walking away, mm -hmm. can you. Do it from the angle of uh, settlement. So this way, you don't walk away. You still wind up with the appointment. Well, that's what I would like to hear about from my lawyer. Yeah. But apparently, he's not calling back. Did you send him the money? Oh, he, we sent him half of it and said the other half would be there in a few days when we could, uh, when we, could, we, have to, we have to go into my Vanguard account, take some money out of there, which takes several days, and then we will wire it to him. We already Re told them listen. that. They know they're getting their money. You don't get the money till he calls you back. Dude. No, well, that's what I was thinking. The, yeah. Repeat after me. The check is in the mail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, the check is in my And, and my, my question is, what happens, what happens to us if I say to him all of a sudden, we've run out of money. We, we don't have any more money. What, well, what, what, what would he do then at that point? Oh, you're done. Uh, hey, it was nice knowing you. Do you think so? Or do you think he might come up with some plan to be able to? I don't think so. No. no I think I, they did just... what they did. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Schwarzman. You're out of money? Geez, that's really tough. Uh, you know, I know how that could be. You know? Yeah, well, we're so close to the finish line, and you guys think we might get our, our legal money back, and you think that we may prevail in this whole thing. Why don't you take roll a little bit of the dice yourself and say, we'll still charge you, but you don't owe us the money till the case is over. How about they take 90, you get 10? That's called a contingency. Well, uh, I, I don't want a contingency at this point because we spent too much money to give them a contingency. Oh, but... Uh, and you know the guy might look at you. No, you but if I say to, if I say to him, "Hey, look, you know, but let's do it this way. You know, you can charge us. You know, but we just you you say you you don't have to pay until the trial the case is over with. And when the case is over with, and you prevail and get some money, you but got to pay us off first. All right. Yeah, it's at that point where he says, "I don't think he got that good a case." <laughs> no, no, no. They they have constantly felt we have a good case. That's we told you when you were paying four fifty an hour. Well, now, let's see. Let's see how how good a case they think we have. You know, I mean, it's getting to a point where that's what we have to discuss. I don't think they're going to just let the thing drop. I mean, you know, after after going this far, okay, that I, I don't hope. think. I, I, and these I, are these are not bad guys either. This is a pretty good law firm. Nice people, decent people. Uh, uh, and um, um, I don't think the reason he's not calling me back is because I said we're getting tapped out here. I think he just didn't call back because he forgot to, you know. Yeah. Well, Lawyers don't forget to call back because they charge you when they call back. Well, they, they, yeah, I've seen it on the bill. You know? <laughs> yeah. I saw hey, one part of this bill. I saw I, we got charged one hundred and fifty dollars for him to staple three hundred pages together. That's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just invite me to come down? I'll do the stapling for you, okay? You know. Yeah, I decided any attorney I sell has to pay double. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, well they don't buy carpet. They yeah. just get it on a contingency. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't go for the second half of my cancer thing and let it kill me. Yeah. Oh. You know? Really, I'm serious. But it gets paid for by insurance, right? Huh? Your second half of the cancer is oh, paid for. Oh, oh yeah, it's all paid for by the by the insurance. Well, then at least they could feel guilty because the case will kill you, you know, and it wouldn't be that you know you let it go. You know, if I just you know why do I want to cure this cancer? I should just let it get me. Who knows? For all I know, if I didn't have all this stuff for the cancer, I it wouldn't have gotten that much worse, and I'd still die of something else first. You know. You've been there five years. You got a hundred grand into it. That's approximately two grand a month. Mm -hmm. You would have gladly paid two grand a month to live there. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you're not out anything really. 
Well, yeah, this, that's one way of looking at it, but we are out because we we didn't put the money away every month, you know, because our lawyer told us not to. He said, right. "Why?" He said, "You don't owe anybody anything." He you said, "You, said you don't have away. a you don't have a lease. You don't owe anybody anything." Yeah, but if you would have put it away, you could have paid him. But we didn't <laughs> you know. think it was going to go this long, Phil. No, nobody ever does. I, yeah. I, you know. Yeah. We, 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 we figured, hey, you know, uh, eh, maybe three years, something like that, you know. And then everybody will get, uh, will get uh, some sense in their head and they'll come to a decision and, and, some, and, and we'll all come out with an answer. But you, we didn't count on the fact this one guy is so fucking stubborn. Excuse me, you two. <laughs> so goddamn it? stubborn, you know, that, that it just kept going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. You you well, all been with me on this trip, well, you know. You yeah. can justify what's happening mm -hmm. is look at what the rents are for, let's say, a two bedroom or a three bedroom. Phil, place. I don't even want to hear that because it doesn't count. What counts is we've had to put this money out for lawyers in this case, and we shouldn't have, you know. And it should have been taken care of by now, you know. And we were told all along by our lawyers, oh well, eventually somebody's going to have to pay your your. You know, lawyers' fees. Well, yeah, sure. Let's let's see if they're gonna pay. If they're gonna just write us a check. Uh, somebody okay. is usually gonna pay the lawyer fees. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, if, oh, well, we'll then have to attach somebody's home or something like that. And I go, yo, yeah, how much is that gonna cost me? Mm -hmm. You know, I just want, I want, I want you just to give me my money back. You know. And uh, um, uh, that, that, that was, uh, you know, and I would, I would like to get the lawyer's fees. I really would. I mean, you know, let me have a little peace in this world before I go to my just reward. Well, uh, is there any way of finding out what kind of assets the guy has? By the way, nobody's see? watching this tonight. And, and fuck all of you who haven't watched. Excuse me, YouTube. To hell with you who... You know, if I, this guy's I'm, assets are limited, maybe he's going to run out first. You know, I mean, he could. It's, it's a poker hand. You know, he's just not showing you his cards yet. If you call, you know, uh, he he may be at the point where who knows? I don't. I don't know how much money this guy's got. You know, there's, they didn't do the discovery on. Oh, I guess there's. You didn't win the case yet. Well, no, he's he's, he's a former basketball player. He worked yeah. for, worked for the NBA for several years. Now well, he works for St. John's University. Uh, I don't know that he made a fortune, you know. He probably made more than you have. I don't know that he's made more than I have in my lifetime, you know, uh, because he was only he was only a basketball player for like a year or two, at best, oh. you know, well, uh, you know, for the Knicks, yeah. And if he saved as much as you did, then you know he's got nothing there. <laughs> well, we don't know, you know, if, if, if but it, it it still was. Um, uh, Somebody just said, anyone famous? Uh, no. I would not say, I would say if I actually said this name to anybody uh, outside yeah. of New York City. New York yeah. New Yorkers would know the name probably. Nick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, no, his name wasn't Nick. No, uh, no he, it was with the Knicks. Uh, outside of New York, people would know who he was. So, you know, anyone famous? No. It's not Kobe Bryant. Yeah. <laughs> He and Nick? Huh? No, he was a Laker. If it, if, if it was Kobe Bryant, the case would have been solved a couple of weeks ago. You know. <laughs> he never would have done this. Huh? He never would have pulled this little scam. Yeah, right. You know, so. I mean, I just, I just, it's just, it's just so daunting to me because I go, why me? You know, what did I do? I didn't do anything. You know. Oh, we're down even one more person. Oh, fuck, fuck the one who, excuse me, to hell with the one who left. <laughs> well, this thing's never going. I'm, I, I, I should try monetizing this one again tonight and just see what happens, you know? It wasn't until a few moments ago, about an hour ago, that they decided to not monetize one of my two shows last night, you know, so... I just I, I I'm sick of all of this. It's just more than I than I need in this uh, in this life. Uh, let's see here. Anything? Uh, no, no, no. I'm just looking to see if they're if they've gone with my request. 
Uh, what, is, what, what else did I do today that I had to call somebody on that was just, it was, oh, yeah, I get this thing. Anybody, you, you people belong to PayPal? Yeah. Yeah. I don't it, think so. it, it, PayPal is a very simple way to pay some bills, okay, yeah. especially recurring bills and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And uh, quite frankly, it doesn't cost me anything. Uh, and um, uh, fine. So I go, I get a thing from them today. Some company, let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Some company called, let me go to, where is Ron? Some company um, called Artsoft Divulgalas, D I V U L G A C O E S, okay, uh, sent you a money request. Oh, sure you did. That's a scam. That's a spam. Well, this went to this went to PayPal. All right. Uh, so I go to it to see how, and then on the bottom it says amount requested. How much do you think they want it out of me, if I if I pay it? A dollar. Five hundred dollars. Try six cents. I was closest. I said ten. Wow. Uh, yeah, you said a dollar. I said. No, I said ten. Uh, Phil you, said a dollar. Phil said a dollar. Okay, Phil, you win. They always ask me for five hundred. It was a fishing thing. Well, excuse me, you don't win because on the Price is Right, if you go over, you don't win. It, it's, yeah. Well, you this know. is not the Price is Right. This is well, no, this, you could say this is a fishing thing, but they went direct to PayPal to do this. And then I called PayPal, and they said, well, this company is a company that is registered with us as somebody who uses PayPal uh, to pay people and to have people pay them and so on and so forth. So uh, they're known for being a hopefully reputable on some sort. He said, it may have been a big mistake or something. And I went, well, that's, it's not an expensive mistake, but it, nevertheless, it's a kind of mistake I don't like to see, especially when the whole uh, letter, the whole I invoice is in Mexican. Spanish. Oh. Spanish. <laughs> Deja ha que sway cerveso seja divulgado Para qualquer lugar do Brazil. Oh, it's probably from Brazil. Maybe it's Portuguese. O do mundo, uh, yeah. 24 horas por dia. Oh, okay. you, have another, uh, you have another career ahead of you in uh, linguistics. In, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Language. Alex, Alex. But see, yeah. the thing is, yeah. is if you said... Portugal or at Brazil, hmm? that other cabinet site, yeah. I think it's down in... Brazil. I, I don't think he, uh, you didn't say that it had anything to do with GabNet. You, you just said it was your PayPal account. My PayPal account. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was not a GabNet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, if you send them the six cents, then they have access to your financial information right. and they and, get a whole bunch more yeah. later. Well, take, all that, sudden, well that's, that's, that's why I wrote to these people. I mean, why I called PayPal today and said, uh, check this out, you know. And they said, well, it's it's somebody we know of. They're on our list of PayPal of course. receivees or whatever. But uh, he said, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. And if we find them to be disreputable, we'll get rid of them. We won't. It, well, but on the other hand, you won't get any more bills from them because we will block them from going to you. Yeah. Can I tell you about a scam I learned about in the police class? Sure. Uh, well, guy, well guy, one of them is being a policeman, but go ahead. Yeah could make uh, like a million dollars in 30 days easily now what happens is wait a minute i need that right now so continue uh, well okay you set up a uh, offshore um, telephone uh, account and you have like an 800 number that call forwards to that you put on a little brown uniform, you have a clipboard, and you walk into a multi-high-rise office building, mm -hmm. and you say, do you know where uh, Robinson and Robinson is? Oh, geez, no, I'm sorry, I don't. Well, I have an 800 number here. Can you, uh, Miss Secretary, can you give them a call and uh, uh, see if, uh, if they're available? It goes to a thing and uh, might say Robinson Robinson because he's doing that to everybody, and, uh, but it call forwards to this... And one nine hundred number account, and you get charged a thousand dollars 
for that for that call just by connecting. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you say, oh, geez, I'm sorry, uh, didn't get through. He goes to the next office. He does the same thing, does the same thing. They don't see their bill for 30 days. Yeah. And once their bill on the landline, then they see they got scammed for the 1000 bucks. Not only can they not get the $1,000 back because it's a hardwire landline, but the money goes into like some offshore uh, really? account where they can't get the money back. And uh, you've taken the million dollars. You're down the road. And all of these businesses are on the hook for a thousand bucks a piece. That is a scam that has been used in the past and probably works. The hard part about this, though, and the most expensive part about this that you haven't considered, Phil, is buying the brown outfit. <laughs> You still at its dry cleaners, <laughs> you know, and then the the money for the gas to go to each of these places. Oh no, no. you go to a building like downtown New York where there's you know two three hundred offices in the mm -hmm. building. In the one building, and, and and in one building you can you know you, you get a couple hundred thousand dollars. Wow! And all you have to do is call that number, and then it gets charged a thousand. Charge the thing, the nine hundred number that you call the eight hundred number that goes to the nine hundred number, and uh, you get charged. Wow. Well, I'll have to think about that one. <laughs> that, that sounds to me better than a GoFundMe. Yeah, but the cops are on to this, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're on to it, but what happens when they find it out? I mean, uh, uh, can they arrest me? Uh, not if they know who you are. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think they can find you. You know, it's, you're dealing with an offshore thing. You do it in others' names, and, uh, you know, it's... If you did get arrested, you're not getting out of jail for a while, but, you know. Well, I don't know. You know, I mean, uh, what's the crime? They just let me use their phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I but, mean, you know, think about oh, that's that. called that, fraud. That was just one of the scams I learned about. Then they taught you about gypsy scams and things like that. But this, this one always stuck with me, and I said, you yeah, know, this is very interesting. Y you know what I don't get, though, and what really bothers me? Uh, and I have to, I have to say this. Uh, it bothers me about the law. Many times, especially with mobsters, let me just. I got to readjust this. Uh, uh, with mobsters, uh, if they uh, say arrest them for something, okay, uh, the mobsters they then take their assets and they take them away from them. They freeze them. Yeah. How are they supposed to pay for lawyers? What what yeah. they're doing is they're making it impossible for somebody to defend themselves in court by taking their money. That's why they got counselieries. These counselieries work for them, you know, for, for many years, yeah. and uh, you know they they've they've got a fund already set up. Uh, you know. Oh well, look, to, I I I I knew a lawyer. Um, well, right. I can say it now. Uh, uh, my my. Good friend um, uh, Fred Reamer, who's now dead, who was a lawyer for drug dealers, and they used to pay him in m money in advance for anything right. that might happen. That's right. Yeah. So that same basic thing. I mean, you're, if you're a mafia guy or you're a crook, uh, that's going. But to believe it or not, believe it or not, the law was starting to go out and try and freeze that money. So, you know, I mean, how are these people supposed to defend themselves if they're very, the very funds they're going to use to defend themselves with are being taken away from them? There's something wrong with that. I mean, even though these are scumbags and, excuse me, can I use the word scumbags? Uh, YouTube, you're listening. Uh, can I use the word scumbag? Is that okay? Would you please let me know if I can use the word scumbag? Because in none of these, uh, the stuff I do with you in trying to get my show reviewed, which by the time it's been reviewed, nobody's listening to it anymore. Uh, 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 it, it just, you know, I just, I just want to know if scumbag is a word I can get it, away it, with. Didn't Carlin have a bit about the words you can't yeah, use? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, there must be a bit on the words you can't use on YouTube. Yeah. Or or you should come up with one. Well, I, I I'd say they're probably the same seven words. Yeah. Uh, uh, although there are some that we use in combination. Yeah. That are dirty, but singularly aren't. Yeah, like mother. Well, it, 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 Lenny Bruce had a uh, had a routine routine about two is a what what is it a pronoun? Uh, no, what is it? Two um, is a what? 
two is the loneliest number. No, no, two, two, um, two, two. Uh, T O is a. Yeah. Oh, that's a preposition. Is a preposition. Come yeah. is a verb. To come is a preposition mm-hmm. and a verb. You know, and he goes on and on about this. Like, you know, these words individually aren't dirty. Why are they in combination yeah. dirty? You know, and he said, and if this whole bit offends you, you probably can't come. So, you know. <laughs> I was talking to somebody who is who's Chinese, and I got a foot massage the other day, and uh, you know, I, she, and she was saying it's very difficult to learn English, and uh, I said, well, what did you do when you were in China? She says, well, I taught Chinese. I was a teacher, and uh, so, but she was saying, you know, it's difficult. English is hard for her, and I said, well, Chinese would be hard for me, and uh, you know, we have words that have multiple meanings. Uh, and it's the same word spelled the same way. I, I don't understand why Chinese is probably the most difficult language in the in the world to learn because there are three year olds who speak it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought Latin was hard. No, no, Chinese is the hardest. I, I'm telling you right now because I can go into a country, I can spend a, a two weeks there, and by the end of the two weeks, I picked up maybe two, three dozen words that I can use. Uh, in China, I came back with five. How many? How many syllables? Not syllables. How many symbols do they have in China uh, for words? Uh, you know, like in Hebrew, there's what twenty six. Well, and- here let me let me tell you something. Uh, really, a lot, it's just kind of fun. Uh, Marjorie has joined. I think it's called WeChat uh, and WeChat Pro. Okay, there's a professional version of it. And that's what her company is using for all these people to talk to each other, especially now that they're not going to work. They're staying at home and working from home because of the, the coronavirus. Um, so she's been told to get uh, involved in this, and so she signed up for it. And uh, uh, she's, uh, let me hold on a second. That's uh, Bree calling. Let me see here. Um, and he's outside again. Oh, this is going to get noisy and annoying. Um, uh, hey, Bree, turn your microphone off. It's very noisy. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why I can't just call us from home. <laughs> you know. But anyway, anyway, what was I saying? I was, I was, uh, you you were talking about the WeChat. Oh yeah. So so every morning she gets about 40 WeChats of people saying good morning, 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 good morning. And then the rest of the day, all the messages, some of which are really long ones, are in Chinese. And she doesn't know why they wanted her to be part of WeChat, you know. Translate? Huh? Is there a translation part? Well, she's it? asking if there's maybe a translation app that she can throw into this so she can read what's being written. But I think a while back, the Chinese, well, uh, you know, they used to have, I don't know, 3,000 characters in the Chinese language. Watching. But I think a few years ago, uh, they changed that. And they went to, um, uh, I think, something like maybe 26 characters or something like that. So... Now, uh, because there are so many different dialects in China, I'm wondering uh, which ones changed and which ones didn't. You know? uh, no, there are only two basic dialects. So, uh, two and Mandarin. There's Cantonese and Mandarin, yeah. yeah. Um, Taipei, I think they speak uh, uh, Chinese or something. Well, I'm a, I'm a Taipei. Dialects. What? What did you say? Uh, dozens of dialects. Hokkien and Fuchao and, and yeah, well, just like there, do, just like there are dozens and dozens of dialects. Of, but the, the characters. Just well, you're breaking up on us like crazy. Your uh, uh, internet connection, Bree. Yeah, not it, it, strong. We're, 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 yeah, uh, I'm yeah. coming out to a clearing, and yeah. it will get better in a minute. Yeah, uh, uh, I mean, we have dozens of dialects in this country. You know. Um, yeah, but they're all English. Well, some of them, yes, but so, same thing with Chinese. The thing is, though, that there are some dialects in this country, Phil, that 
that if I had somebody talk to you, you wouldn't understand a word they were saying. A lot of the southern dialects, very deep and thin, you know, it, it, it um, um, say the same thing about New York. I mean, Cajun, for instance, Kate, Cajun is almost forecaster the other day. What? It took me like three or four minutes to realize she was speaking English. <laughs> really? Forecaster, yeah. It was really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Was forecasting from. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, we were talking last night about uh, about the uh, uh, about Bloomberg and uh, the current flap over Bloomberg about uh, stop and frisk. Previous statements. Yeah. Yeah, and and the fact that our president. Uh, I made a statement about him and how terrible it was that he'd used stop and frisk. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Matter of fact, T uh, today he did. Today he I did. Today he did. He probably said something to the effect that he's 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 changing. He was a weak mayor, I believe he said, mm -hmm. and he said that uh, uh, stop and frisk lowered crime in New York. No, but today, today, no, it, 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 today. Uh, he said, uh, I believe, and I would have to go find the, the tweet. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Let me put uh, Kevin on here. Um, I, uh, I have to put the tweet, uh, 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 find the tweet. But he did say today that, uh, you know, uh, stop and frisk uh, uh, was bad for black people and blah, blah, blah. I mean, he was, he was, like, he was like playing into that, saying it, what, 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 uh, what uh, uh, he did. Bloomberg did while he was in office was was bad and wrong. Uh, I, I I heard something different. But well, I, I I've that. heard something different too. Listen carefully. I just made a little medley of Trump's songs here. Listen. <laughs> I've told them to work with local authorities to try to change the terrible deal the city of Chicago entered into with ACLU, which ties law enforcement's hands. And to strongly consider stop and frisk. It works, and it was meant for problems like Chicago. I want to know what would you do to help stop that violence, you know, black-on-black -black crime. Right. Well, one of the things I'd do, Ricardo, is uh, I would do stop and frisk. I think you have to. We did it in New York. It worked incredibly well. And you have to be proactive. So That's did, what I said. No, but today, I, am I right about this, Kevin? He was complaining about Bloomberg using stop and frisk. That's correct. But Trump never said that. No, he never said that. No, no. Big no. news. No, he never said that. Yeah. That wasn't him. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but, but didn't, those, he, uh, didn't, he, did, didn't he today in a tweet uh, deride Bloomberg That's for like using? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Did. Absolutely. He went, right, he went right back and said exactly what he said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Only he, you know, sat there and and bullshit. You know, he he just did exactly what. Exactly I think he was, he was talking about Bloomberg being an apologist, and uh, I I don't think Trump came out uh, uh, today, Phil. Trump today. did exactly what he did with everything else. He said exactly the same yes. thing that he said he's, eight he's, years ago or whatever the hell it was, so like he does with everything else. I was listening to the yes. news. I didn't hear that. Talked out of both sides of his mouth like he always does. I haven't I haven't opened Twitter in about six months. I'm wondering what I'm going to get. He didn't say it on Twitter. He said it in the Oval Office or wherever the hell he was talking. Yeah. It didn't have nothing to do with Twitter. What? Now, the, the thing, he quickly deleted a tweet attack, that attacked former Mike Bloomberg as a racist over comments about. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Stop that's it. Right. And yeah. then he said it, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So oh, he did. Okay. He so did. He called. He really, basically he he called Bloomberg a racist before for using stop and frisk, and then he uh, of course then I just played what he had said about stop and frisk. So, you know, that's that's all I've heard come out of Trump's mouth was what the things that you played. Yeah, that's were. right. That's right. But now he's assailing Bloomberg for having done it. Well, maybe he's using the same strategy that the Democrats use on him. No, 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 Phil, Phil, <laughs> stop, 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 <laughs> Phil, stop. I don't want any more of that whataboutism crap. You know? What about? What oh, do you mean? It. Because the Democrats do it, it's okay for him to do it. Well, if it's okay for the Democrats to do it, then it's okay for him to do it. Then he shouldn't complain about the Democrats doing it. 
so you don't like when the guy punches back. All I, right. No, this isn't punching back. Well, it is in the street, you know. No, he's punching and he doesn't like it. Well, when since people when back has our government, Correct. did Correct. we ever want our government to be a street brawl? Uh, that's what we're getting. You know, you look at the Democrats right now and you look at what's going on in this primaries. You had uh, Joe Biden uh, leave the state, not even address all the people that supported him. He went down to uh, South he Carolina. Did. He addressed them on a stream. Yeah. And, and 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 then when he went down to South Carolina. Well, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Phil, he, Phil, he, Phil, did you hear what Breeze just said? Yeah, he did it on a stream. I don't think so. I think uh, hey, from what I heard in the news, he just he just abandoned them, and then he said that they were no strange. good. Must have been Fox News. Yeah, maybe. And he said that they were no good, and uh, that uh, you know New Hampshire. He had less than zero uh, percent, I believe, in New Hampshire, and uh, now you remember the. Uh, the you got zero percent in New Hampshire. Me thinks you're wrong. Well, that's what I was. I heard on the radio today. What? Where? Where are you listening to? You're listening to, uh, huh? Yeah, Fox was, Radio. No, he got five or six percent. Oh, a lot yeah. more than he thought. Yeah. Well, do you remember the Hillary speech that she feigned a black uh, Southern accent? No. It's the same speech today, according, uh, from what I heard on the radio. Mm -hmm. It was the exact same speech with the exact same accent. Mm. Uh, didn't Hillary get a whole bunch of guff for for doing that? Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. You're hearing the things. The thing Phil. is, is that nobody is perfect, uh, except for we've come to understand that Trump, in Trump's world, Trump is perfect. Yeah. You know? And so, so it's amazing if you think about it. It's truly amazing. He can do whatever he wants, and and nobody bats an eyelid. You know, he can basically say, hey, this guy shouldn't get that prison sentence. And <laughs> it's amazing if you think about it. Yeah, I'm going to try and find it. Find what? Uh, uh, Biden doing the Hillary speech. Who cares? But we, we, Who cares? Biden, Biden, Biden is king a Trump. Biden, yeah. Biden is a has been. The, the I, irony in the oh, whole in the yeah. whole thing King about Donald. Trump about Trump trying to um, uh, uh, get uh, information on Joe Biden is that Joe Biden probably won't be the person that he's going to have to run against. So why should he? You know, it, it was all a wasted time and wasted uh, his uh, his reputation on it. Well, now he got rid of Biden. He's moving on to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Probably accuse um, Pete Buttigieg of being gay. What do you think <laughs> of the uh, DNC and what they're trying to do uh, to dis to um, uh, pull Bernie out of the front runner position? They don't want Bernie. Uh -huh. Where'd uh, you hear this, Fox? Of course, I don't listen to your. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, uh, you know, I tune over to Fox and I hear this kind of crap, and I'm going, "Where are they pulling this stuff out of their ass?" Well, because because you don't see it anywhere else in the news, not even in the. I go over to uh, what what's what is it Newsmax, which is like the worst of the worst when it comes to right wingers, and they weren't even doing that They're story. They're not even doing that. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing. Well, you know, uh, you don't get the same stories on Fox that you get on the left wing news because they they pick the stories that they want to uh, do, which are all anti Trump. They have fully drunk the Kool Aid. Who? Fox. You better be very careful. It's all I can say. It was King I've been Donald. Slowly seeing them turn over, and they've fully drunk the Kool Aid. They don't even. They don't even want to hear anything else. Well, what they're saying now on Buttigieg is that he doesn't have any substance. That it's all rhetoric. He, he's kind of like Obama. He talks. Yeah, a lot, I, he sounds nice. But he doesn't say that. anything. Hmm? There's some truth to that. Well, yeah, the, and that's what the, that's that's what they're going to go after him on. Bernie, it's the socialism. Uh, uh, Warren, she's probably as dead in the water as uh, as Biden. See, Trump, Trump yeah. will probably let Fox do all this dirty work for him. Why not? Why not? It's the it's the media. Oh, that's right. I thought Fox is not the media. Uh, Everybody else is. Uh, that would be the truth. Everybody else is the media, not Fox. Yeah, you right. hear that a lot too. Yeah. Uh, the fake media. 
referring to. But all I'm saying is, is that uh, how dare uh, he today um, uh, assail Bloomberg for his stop and frisk and being racist when, in fact, he was for it all along, which you freely admit, Phil. Uh, he was for stop and frisk. I don't know that I am. <laughs> you know, um, uh, you know, if if it's hard to do your job as a cop, it's called it's hard to do well, there, your job. There, well, there are two there are two things you have to take into consideration. Okay, if it work, if it doesn't work, if it works, uh, that's I guess an excuse you can have. Except that you have to ask the second question: Is it constitutionally correct? And is it what we do in order to preserve? You know, sometimes well, a lot of times we say we're trying to preserve the peace. Uh, and what we're doing is using that as an excuse for doing the bad. I, I don't. I don't think that it's been. Uh, has has it been constitutionally challenged? I don't think it would. I don't think it is correct. Yeah, stop and frisk was was constitutionally challenged, and that's why well, why Bloomberg had to quit doing it. Oh, so it, it's not constitutional to do stop and frisk then? Just what? to be stopping people minding their own business walking down the street was unconstitutional. Yeah. Unless you just stop because they're everybody. black or Hispanic. Yeah. What were you going to say, Scott? Yeah. Scott? You have to stop. If they stop everybody, like at a, like a road, like sometimes the, they do these I things on the uh, roads where they uh, stop every car and look for drunk drivers. Or every fourth car, or whatever it is. Yeah, that's different because you're stopping everybody. Yeah. If you stop everybody, then it's okay. But if you, you can't just stop the ones that, uh, Look like they're up to no good. That's right. Well, yeah. here, here, here's what I, here's where I, I completely disagree with Bloomberg, and he said that, well, supposedly he was quoted as saying the reason why we're uh, targeting blacks in this is because the the worst crime areas are in black areas. Uh, now that may be true because wherever you have poverty, you're going to have a higher crime rate than you are where you don't have poverty, and since Blacks were somewhat insinuated into being a poverty. Uh, uh, it, it, it would go to say that those neighborhoods, like Harlem, were more dangerous than, say, uh, the upper west, the lower west side, or they're just the west side. Uh, however, however, you don't do stop and frisk to solve the problem. You put more police in those neighborhoods, and you make the country this uh, it's safer just by the presence of those police walking their beats, which they don't do anymore, by the way. I, I heard a very interesting thing with Adam Carolla. He was being interviewed by Tucker Carlson, and he, Adam Carolla was saying that in Los Angeles, one of the reasons for homeless people is that there's, they, they have an empty bag. There's no money in, in it for the government. He says, you know, you'll see a cop... Uh, uh, pulling people over uh, with their cars uh, that are doing seven miles an hour over the speed limit while you have uh, people on the other side of the street selling uh, vegetables and things without a license, uh, living on the sidewalk. But yeah. if you give them a ticket, you're not going to get the money. If you give the soccer mom the ticket, she'll pay the ticket and the government or the, uh, the locality will get money. And so they, they look at uh, a homeless as uh, as just an empty purse, and there's no money in it for them, so they don't do anything about yeah, it. Yeah, Adam Carolla is the person I go to when I want political yeah. opinion. I really trust him. Well, yeah. He did a yeah. movie called No Safe Spaces, which I wanted to see and never got around to mm -hmm. seeing. Hopefully, it'll be on uh, Netflix or oh, something. Gee, hopefully. Uh, you know, but he did that. I'm uh, just praying it's going to be on Netflix soon, yeah, so, I, so I can watch it. this piece of shit. Or maybe on Nickelodeon. Excuse me, excuse me. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> YouTube. Uh, I was making it in 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 reference to reviewing a mo motion picture that had political content. <laughs> hey, you can okay. Beg all that, you want. That's that's why I said that. Um, yeah, Bennett, you, but but you, while I'm at it, as long as you're listening, anybody who's listening to this program, if you see the ad that runs before this show, don't buy their product. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> You can beg YouTube all you, all you want. You know they they got you by the short hairs. YouTube yeah. is going to kick me off so fast you can't believe it, right? And and what did I do again? Like with my legal situation, nothing, nothing. I may uh, as well start. 
I may as well start doing something to make it worthwhile getting into trouble. You got a brown uniform? Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick. And- short pants, short sleeve shirt, and a clipboard. That's yeah. all you need. Yeah. Um, by the way, we're up to 1,000. How many How many subscribers do we have now? 1,000. Uh, uh, let me see here. I have to go here to the YouTube thing. I'm, I'm up to 1,030. Hmm. Isn't that nice? So if 30 people drop, does that mean that you're no longer able to monetize? I hope so. (laughs) I I only pray if there was some way I could get out of this YouTube partners thing right now, I would do it. Just don't don't monetize. Oh, is that when all this started? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then somebody uh, somebody uh, was complaining I was using their music, and they didn't put a copyright strike against me, but they said that you can't run commercials in that either. And that video had already had that non-monetization thing going for it because of the music, so I don't know why they were suddenly complaining. And then they complained twice in two days, so I just took the whole video off. Because, you know. Now- was it actually a person that complained, or was it just the computer? I think it's a company that has a computer that then listens to YouTube and listens when their songs are being played. Uh, what was it? BMI? No, uh, no, it's not BMI. It's it's it's, it's all these it's all these BMI. publishing companies. It's publishing. Okay, companies. Well, I had a friend that worked for BMI, and he used to his job was to go into stores and see if they were. That's playing the old anything. days. That's years ago, Phil. Oh, well, uh, you know. But uh, he would go into. Oh, they made they made it. They made it. What they did, BMI and ASCAP, went yeah. into bars that were playing yeah. music in the bars, and then wanted them to pay a licensing fee for playing the music in their bars. Yeah. And if they didn't, they had to stop playing the goddamn music. Excuse me, I said goddamn YouTube. I didn't say <laughs> fucking goddamn. Blasphemy! Blasphemy! Yeah, I had a friend that did the same thing. Yeah, uh, worked for uh, went into the stores and uh, or no, he went. He was a, he was one of the bar guys. He went to the bars and caught them, you know, playing music, cover music, and stuff like that. Yeah, which uh, you know, I in a way I understand that. You yeah, know, right I, society. You know, but um, here is something that I I don't get. Okay, let's say I played one of my old shows from oh uh, live one oh five. <laughs> where I occasionally played music on the show. Let's say I play that music here on Sirius. Should I have to pay a royalty to play music which already had the royalties paid on it? Yes, and I'll tell you why. Why? Uh, you, when you do a commercial or voiceover like you did with uh, Comedy Tonight and those things, you get paid residuals every time the thing is played right so if they were if they were a union gig if they weren't a union gig no yeah but okay so let's say you had a union gig uh and uh the comedy tonight for instance and uh every time they use that you said on uh on tv or or whatever you get you get a, a royalty check may not be very large but you get a check uh isn't it the same thing for the guy who created the music uh, you know, the uh, that he would get, yeah, wrote the music for, for the use, it. yes, okay. So, therefore, it, it is no, but no, but they what I'm saying is that they already got paid for it, okay. In other words, the music was played, okay, and the rights were paid for to play that music on my show. Now yeah. I replay that show, right? And they're gonna they they're gonna want money again from me. Okay, think about the comedy tonight. You got paid to do the Phil. Gig. That's a different situation. That happened to be a union gig in which I get paid for uh, the various plays that that thing does. It's a different methodology altogether from how we pay play for pay for music on radio stations and in. Yeah, you have a license and you can... Yes, you have a license. In that case, you've signed a contract with the union saying that you will pay, uh, every time this thing runs uh, for 13 weeks or something, you will pay so much again for the use of the performer. 
That's the un, that's the that's what's understood. What's understood yeah. about musical licenses? You've licensed the music, so if you've licensed it and now you've reused it, uh, let's say I, I I replayed it on that radio station, it would be okay. If I replayed it on my website, it wouldn't be okay. Did Live One Hundred and Five then own, uh, own the rights to the uh, to the library? No, they had music? A, no, they had a blanket license with both ASCAP and BMI every year. Right. Uh, in fact, uh, Sirius, as an example, pays these organizations. Do you, know how much, do you know how much Sirius pays for ASCAP alone every year? It was a time that they weren't paying, right? And they got sued? Uh, no, they were, they were not paying on, on performances prior to 1975 or something like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, which they then got sued by, uh, do you remember the Turtles? you remember Flo and Eddie? Yeah. Leech and Eddie. Yeah, they 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 sued and they got money out of uh, out of them. Yes, said Bray. What they what they did was uh, Pandora was also under this. Uh, they, they made the same arguments you're making, Alex. Oh, thanks a lot. That was quick. Uh, can I get the mild sauce? Thanks. Um, they made the same argument. What they did was they bought a, a radio station. Mm -hmm. And then they said, oh, look, we're, we're Pandora, we're online, but we own the station. And then I think Sirius bought Pandora. Yes. Yeah, but that, so that was that, that but they, 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 uh, Sirius had to pay off uh, all, on all performances prior to 1975 or something like that because of that particular suit against them. But anyway, the point I'm making is that, that uh, how many times do we have to repay over and over again for this, for the use in the same kind of venue? In other words, my show. My show didn't change at all. I'm just replaying it. If I'm replaying it, it somewhere else, but yeah. I, I have to strip it of the music because I, they... they well, what if you, if you play comedians giving jokes? Do you have to pay them? No. And isn't that a challenge? You know, so it's not fair. It's mm -hmm. just that the artists were able to lobby. Yeah. Yeah. Union thing, right? Right. It's, it wasn't a union thing. No, I mean, but I mean, the thing is that uh, um, uh, you know the union, it, we pay a lot of money. Uh, but anyway, uh, Sirius pays per year. I think just to after a loan, something like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the use That's of their music. But if you think about it, it's 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 okay. It makes sense because uh, Sirius makes their their living off of non-commercial channels that play music and that gets them their subscriptions in fact a large amount of reasons people subscribe to Sirius is not for that lousy talk programming they do that barely has any listeners or at all compared to I, the music channels that they have so. i'm so tired of the Sirius cutting in and out on my car you know, you make a turn, it cuts out. Of you course. go under a little overpass, it cuts out. That's the satellite. Uh, you know, I, I'm not renewing. In a big in a big city like New York City, we actually is Sirius actually has translators on the ground that send the signal to your car uh, because if they didn't, there's no way you would be able to get the satellites in New York City. And so, Isn't therefore, like calling it satellite radio in New York City is, a, is yeah. actually yeah. A, a con job. Hey, hey, isn't that what sling boxes were uh, no, originally? No, no, no. Uh, in New York City, no. they used them for TV signals? No. No? No. What was a sling box? A sling, Remember, they, a sling, they said they were elite. A, a sling box was you hooked it up to your TV set uh, or to your cable, and then you could watch those shows that were on that were in your home anywhere else using Slingbox. Oh, uh, I th did they have something for no. uh, on air no. reception? No. No. no, 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 no. They were originally they had it was Marjorie had one a Slingbox. It was a very complicated thing. It, it worked weird. Uh, but uh, it, it was so she wanted it so she could watch her tennis at work. Yeah. Mm. So. Now all she has to do is have an iPhone. Yeah. Uh, but mm -hmm. you know, um, it's amazing. I, I put. I, oh, I by have the way, people, when I do this, when you see me do this or this, I'm just scratching my nose. I'm not picking it. Okay. Yeah. What's that longer what? came out there? Mm. <laughs> But anyway, I uh, oh by the way, I had my last uh, I had my last uh, my last. You have the corona. You must. What? You're doing that. Wait a minute. You're not mute. 
Bree, Bree, mute. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Well, if, if you want to talk, then you can take it off mute, but there was a lot of noise there. Um, uh, I did my last treatment on, uh, on uh, Monday, and I didn't get a diploma. Congratulations. I, uh, but but I, I finished the treatment, and uh, I'm back to peeing like a racehorse. You know. Hey, did they give you that thing that you lay in, the uh, cast that they No, made? I was going to ask them if I could have it. And then I decided, I looked at it and I said, I don't want to take this piece of junk home and have it sit in my <laughs> living room. It's just, this is like a black kind of, it's, I, I, I can't even tell you what it looked like. Okay, so it, was, it wasn't decorative. Right, right. I mean, yeah. yeah, I'll put it in the bed and I'll sleep in it at night. You know? <laughs> and then I won't toss and turn. Because that's why it's created, so you won't toss and turn while they're doing this whole thing. I don't know, if you get a chance, go online to YouTube which mm -hmm. is a lovely organization. Um, as long as you don't curse. As long as I don't curse. I, you know. Um, f anyway, where was I? You, you were talking about go, uh, going online. You go on YouTube to watch something? Oh. If you go on, just go and look up uh, stereotactic, stereo, stereotactic um, radiation therapy. And look at the machine. That's the very machine. I, they have it, and they show it being used and everything. That's the very machine they were using on me. They and, use it for other stuff, too. It, it was originally invented for brain radiation. It says here prefrontal lobotomy. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. And <laughs> better to have a prefrontal lobotomy than a bottle in front of me. Anyway, Wait, yeah. um, I'd rather have a prefrontal lobotomy than a bottle in front of me, or I better have. I'd rather have a Other bottle in front of me than a prefrontal lobotomy. That's the same. Tom Tom Waits said that. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, but I know has been drinking. Yeah, but it was really it was. Um, it, it it really is quite a machine to look at. It it uh, what a piece of hardware they were using on me. And uh, it, it supposedly it's a very small, specific beam of radiation, and they can very well target what they're doing, as opposed to the old days where, like, for instance, Vernon Nunn had the old kind, where they just take a chance, and your whole body, you know, that part of your body gets radiated. So. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, Brian Neary, the guy that uh, called the show that's in the uh, uh, virus business, uh, testing, mm -hmm. he, they're coming up with a vaccine. He, uh, he told me tonight that he's going in the work tonight because they're working on the coronavirus uh, identification uh, thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that's Is that good. the Cephid? Is it like C-P-H-I-D, the stock symbol? Uh, it might be. I was going to buy that stock symbol, but it said... It's not available. That's the proposed stock uh, stock symbol. Uh, his company got bought out by somebody. It, it was taken over. I think he did. Uh, I'll ask him. How, how, by the way, is the coronavirus affecting uh, Kuala Lumpur? Are people uh, like wearing masks and washing their hands and staying home and not going to work and stuff? Some people are doing that, but across the causeway in Singapore, they've been, they were crazy. I mean, there was a run on everything in the supermarket. We couldn't get masks and sanitizers, toilet paper. Singapore was going crazy, so the prime minister down there had to make a speech on the television and tell everybody to calm down. Yeah. I, up here, we've been fine. Uh, some uh, people are wearing I heard, I'd say maybe 10, I, 20 percent more. I heard that mild sauce that you're eating is the vaccine for the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> You interrupted him for that joke. Yeah. <laughs> I got a laugh out of Charlie. Well, but I was wondering. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I was wondering. People are going crazy. They, they, did you just see no. they canceled the mobile phone, the major mobile phone conference in Barcelona, Spain? Yeah. Now canceled. Yeah. I had two conferences in Beijing in June. Really? Not going. You know, so wow. it's really having wow. an effect everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, let me uh, let me once again let me let me ask a, uh, um, uh, a question of Patrick, who has not been around uh, for the last couple of days because you had a lot of medical things, right? You had a lot of medical tests and so on. Um, yeah, nothing. I mean, 
dental appointment, urology, just normal shit that hits at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. But the problem is I wasn't able to drive myself because I still wasn't, I still didn't have my prescription from my cataract surgery. So I wasn't comfortable driving. So mm -hmm. I had to rely on the triple van service mm -hmm. and they pick you up almost two hours in advance of when you need to be somewhere. Right. And all my appointments, I like to start at around 8 or 8.30 in the morning. So they're getting me at 6.30 in the morning, and I got to be up at 4 so that I can, you know, get ready. And so my my sleep shit went way off for the last two weeks. So yeah. that was more than anything. You so. know, be, being in the condition you're in, which is a crippled American, uh, yeah. um, uh, uh, has got to be, the worst part about it has got to be the having to think ahead to get stuff done. So if you get up, you say, I got to get up two hours ahead of time, probably because it takes you that long to actually physically get ready, right? Um, I don't like rushing. I, mm. If I need to, I can get out of bed, get dressed, and be in my garage within about 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, uh, but I would prefer to take a little bit more time. Right. And as far as the thinking, you get used to it. You you don't even, I, I hate to say it, you don't even think about it. Right. Um, like, the biggest problem I ever had was drinking liquid since I don't have control of my bladder like I used to. So now every time I drink something in my head, I'm calculating how many ounces I'm drinking so I can figure out when the next time I need to use the bathroom. So Yeah, yeah. So I'm, it's just second nature. I may, be, I may be joining you in that problem in a couple of weeks because when they do the seeds, it's a little more profound than this was in – and me having to get up a couple of times during the night to go pee and so on. But after a, a while, uh, that goes away. So They don't give you yeah. a Foley catheter for that kind of thing. No, they, get, they, ca they catheterize you while they're doing the operation, and then shortly it's still in you after the operation, and then they take it out before you go. Yeah. So I had mine 10 days. I know, but, that, but I didn't have, I'm not having my prostate removed, you know. As a matter of fact, I'm told that the reason why I think I'm going to have to pee more is not because my uh, prostate expands like it probably did with the radiation, but because it uh, it it uh, um, uh, but because it gets smaller. Actually, they say the prostate gets smaller. Uh, I think the black market for prostate. What? I think there's a black market for prostate. It's just like there is for other organs. Yeah. And uh, that, that's yeah. why they, you know, just recommend rip it out, you know. Oh, I see. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me see here. There's, uh, there's, uh, let me see here. Let me go over there. That extra, Hello. extra Hello. amount of noise you're hearing is from Ray oh. Renati and the fact that he's at the gym. So now we have somebody at the gym and somebody in a Kuala Lumpur eating lunch. Uh, I'm and, and we have Kevin on the phone. You know, so, I mean, he doesn't gain weight the way he eats. He he doesn't miss a meal and uh, he yeah. eats a very hearty lunch. Uh, you know, yeah, he really does and, eat a hearty lunch. What are you having yeah. today? That looks like you're having noodles and more noodles and then some potatoes on top of the noodles. Uh, it's a low carb diet, right, Bree? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I am at I am at Nando's. Have you heard of it? No. Uh, it's like in and out <laughs> No, it's a South African chicken chain. Oh, really? Uh, sit down. Yeah. That's awesome. It's awesome. Chicken? It's awesome. What? Uh, so I got coleslaw. I got the peri-peri wedges. And I got the quarter chicken for free because I'm a VIP yeah. member. Yeah. Uh, and this was with mango and lime sauce. Wow. I'm wow. having water to drink. There's a Ben & Jerry's across yeah. the way. Yeah, I might have Ben and Jerry's for dessert, or I might go up to Hagen Dazs for the green tea matcha yeah. ice cream that I like. We'll see. I haven't decided. They used to have bottomless uh, yogurt here. Oh yeah, they still do uh, for a dollar fifty. Bottomless yogurt. 
All the yogurt you can eat. He, he can eat. Yep. He virtually rolls off the chair. I, I, I prefer the topless yogurt, but, you know, <laughs> there was only one of those places in uh, in Miami. Island. No, Miami, they used to have Denver. a they used to have a topless donut shop. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, there was a there was a topless coffee shop in Miami, wasn't there? No, it was a donut shop. It was a donut shop. It's called Our Donuts. Never... It's called Our Donuts. I remember the name of it because whenever Penn Gillette would come down to visit me in in um, in Miami, and that was only once. Um, but he came, he came, and Teller came, too. Teller came down for a short time on that trip. And uh, they, they, they both went to our donuts. They loved the idea of a topless donut shop. It, just, it was so incredulous. I don't know if you want to be served by a topless woman serving donuts, you know. Well, they got topless car washes. They got uh, yeah. uh, probably, topless women pumping the gas. She probably served them, uh, putting them on, on their nipples. And here they are. Here, take them. I'd like to have a topless yeah, dentist. A topless dentist? Oh, that'd be, yeah. 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 Depending on who it was, I guess. I'm just happy with a painless one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd be happy with one who doesn't charge money. But anyway, that's Part another big me. That's another big money ch chunk that's coming out of my money in about, about three weeks hey, or four I'm weeks. Doing a, what? I'm doing a full Jimmy Carter right now. What's that? Peanuts? <laughs> no, it means that uh, a person of the female persuasion has walked past and oh. Oh, once it's in a lusting in his heart. And you yeah. lusted in your heart. I see. Okay. Now it, now it's time for the full Monty. <laughs> Go for it, Bree. Uh, turn the camera so we can see the gal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He showed us a lot yesterday. Just leave room for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, what do you think about the whole Roger Stone thing, guys? Uh, Drain in the swamp. <laughs> well, they said nine I years. Already told you. Uh, Hail to King Trump. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, when Trump gets reelected, I bet you Roger Stone and Paul Manafort both get uh, uh, pardoned. Oh, sure. Or, or their well, sentence it, is commuted. It goes without saying. All right. Well, already they're probably not going to. Uh, they're going to drop the charges against Stone. Oh, are know? they going? Yeah, to? I thought yeah. he was convicted of not, and got nine years. No, but they're going to. That's get, what they. They're working on getting him out. Yeah. Time served. That was the recommendation. Time served. And Trump said it, it was too much. Yeah. Yeah. Stone has is a lobbyist for the bow tie wearing people of of America. Yeah. You know, doesn't he wear a bow tie? And he, he dresses, uh, you know, he dresses kind of. I wonder. Weird. I wonder I how. I, I wonder how his his uh, uh, is it his Nixon uh, tattoo on his back. I didn't know. God, is it Nixon? Yeah, he has a big tattoo yeah. of Nixon on his back. Takes up most his of the face. small of his yeah. back. His face. I wonder how that's playing in prison in the showers. <laughs> I was supposed to see him at the Commonwealth Club, and it and this and yeah, it got this canceled. Is, this is the fourth time you've said that. Well, you know when well, you when you when you when you, when you almost Club. got to see somebody is not worth even telling. Okay, okay. if you Let's saw say, him, that's worth telling. But I got ripped but, off. But not seeing him, huh? I even paid for the book. They sent the money back, but, you know, mm. uh, I had VIP and the book. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Well, I oh, think yeah. I think he's I, I, I would like to see him not in jail just because out of jail. He's so damn funny, you know. Um, and and wait a minute, who said goodbye? Kevin. Said Kevin. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, seven. Oh, Kevin. Kevin said goodbye. Oh, OK. He motioned goodbye. He motioned Just goodbye. Should I leave him on? He's he's kind of like, it looks like he's having a stroke there. <laughs> ah, we'll leave that there. Like that. Oh, One, two. Ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he was talking to somebody, and he had to, you know, go. go. I think Patrick uh, wants to say something. Yes, Patrick. No, I, I didn't. I was waving at uh, Kevin. Oh, okay. And he was waving goodbye, I... You Locked wave, you wave going. back. Okay, well, we're leaving the wave there. What the hell? Oh, here comes the check. 
Here comes the check. I wonder, any any idea how much the check is? I would say, I would say, lunch is five dollars. Uh, he's paying in some sort of weird money. Yeah. Not yeah. A million. Well, what do you yeah, mean weird money? In 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 Kuala Lumpur, that isn't weird money. That it's is money. money. That's what they tell you. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what was the uh, the price in Kuala Lumpurian money? And, Let's see. Uh, Today's bill was uh, $3. Oh, really? I said it was going to be 5 uh, It was well, 3 because I am a VIP member. You're a VIP member. I see. Give you free chicken, huh? Huh. <sighs> Okay. Oh, uh, Ray has got his fingers up. Yes, Ray. Oh. Yes, Ray. Yes, You're Ray. Mute, Ray. I was just putting three up. I was You're just okay. putting three in a oh. different way. Oh, oh. yeah. Sorry. I'm fine. So, I was doing like this. How many, uh, what's the what's gala. the denomination? The gala? The uh, these, are, these are ringgits. Oh, ringgits. And they're, yeah, they're in many different colors. I knew a guy who had rickets. Uh, oh, actually, I did have... 15, I could have given them, but. Um, so, how many ringgits? This is one is ringgit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, That's one ringgit. ringgit. And ringgit. And how many of those is a dollar? That's 25 cents. Oh, so there's four ringgits to a dollar. Right. That's 20 ringgit. All right. So, anyway, that's a 20 ringgits to a dollar. And no, so no, four dollars. That's five dollars. I see. Okay, and there's there's your there's your money back. What kind of a tip do you leave on three dollars, you cheapskate? Do they no tip, tip in that country? Uh, no, we do not. It's it's included in the service charge. Oh, well, wait a minute. I came uh, to it came to how much great. with tip? Okay. It came to how much with tip? Um, it the total was thirteen ringgit. Wow. Wow! Yeah, so, so, so yeah, about three dollars, three dollars and uh, five cents. Well, let me just ask you. I mean, I don't, I don't want to have you give me a number because that would be rude of me. But how much money do you get paid for your job, and then you get a three-dollar meal? Is, <laughs> is, is, is are you making enough money? Are they paying you like thirty-five bucks a week? What what what's the story here? Um. How shall I answer that? Um, let's just say that uh, I make a good I make a good wage. Okay. And I get HSBC has a premier account. Uh, I have the premier account. You have the premier account, and the reason that you are so wealthy is because of where you're living, right? Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot. Pretty much. I rent a. Uh, I rent a full house, you know, with five bedrooms and five baths and yard, uh, and I'm in a major city. Wait a minute. And I paid Wait. hundred bucks. How much? Eight hundred dollars for a five wow. bath, five baths. <laughs> I have four baths. Four baths and how many rooms? How many rooms? Four and a half baths. And how and many? And I have, I have five bedrooms. Five bedrooms. See, Alex, you should renegotiate your rent. Wait a minute. Now, on top of that, let me just ask you this question. This may be a, a difficult question for you to answer, but you're married, right? Yeah. Bree, you're married. You don't have any kids, do you? I do. Oh, you do? How, ma how many? One. One. Okay, so there are three of you. What yeah. do you do with the other two bedrooms if we consider that your wife hates you and makes you sleep in one of them. That's where the maid goes. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah, there's a lot uh, of things. Uh, my in-laws were just here for a month uh -huh. and a half. Yeah. And my, um, my mom and my sister are coming over. My niece is coming down with her two kids and her husband. Uh, we have a lot of people that come. So we have guest bedrooms. Oh, okay. You know? Just like and Alex. We were thinking about getting a dog. Do you mind if we uh, c uh, come and uh, come and see you for two or three years? Oh, you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> two or three days, Alex. <laughs> Maybe. You know what they say? Yes, yes, fish. They they're only they're only good for three days. Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's right, Ben Franklin. 
yeah. said that, right? Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, uh, Ray. You're all welcome to come. Yes, Ray. Uh, I, I was just wondering if Bree is worried about his dog getting eaten. Um, <laughs> or, that's just terrible oh, yeah. that I said that. I'm sorry. They don't like. Yes. For all we know, yeah. that was his lunch. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That was Korea. That was Korea. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, and uh, is it true that if you get the coronavirus, they do have a possible cure for it by putting a lime in your ear? What? No, that's in the coconut. Lime goes in the coconut. Let's see. Corona, <laughs> corona, lime. Uh, oh, you get it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Corona. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why so many people died. They couldn't fit it in the IV, but then they figure out how to do it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's um, well, uh, but it, but it uh, so the corona really hasn't hit Kuala Lumpur terribly at all, right? No, I mean we have cases, but uh, and I mean I can show you here uh, as I walk in the mall, you'll see like every eighth or tenth person with a mask. Yeah. But isn't is that yeah. isn't that just common over there anyway? I mean, people do that when they when. They... Oh, you're breaking up on us. Yeah, you should have stayed in the restaurant. You should have stayed in the restaurant eating food, and spending your three dollars. Yeah, it's it fair. Oh, there he goes. I say I've got five died, and I'll get a better. Yeah. I, I, I should connect to the Wi-Fi here, but it takes too long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let me let me just remind you folks that it, Bree just came back from a very expensive lunch uh, where he spent three dollars on the lunch. Could have been more if he wasn't a VIP. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It might have been four. <laughs> and what'd you have? You had new. I know she had some noodles. No, that was coleslaw. Oh, it's coleslaw. Oh, okay. Coleslaw yeah. Chicken. Coleslaw, and Perry, Perry, and the coleslaw is really good. You know what? You know, you know what I had for dinner? You know what I had for dinner? Popeye's chicken, and it oh, and it it (laughs) hey yeah, and it only it only cost me uh, about eleven (laughs) dollars. (laughs) Yeah. So that was that. Oh, Kevin said, uh, wait a minute. Kevin sent me a message. It says. um, Sorry, Alex. Got a call from my daughter. My ex-mom-in-law passed away earlier today. Oh, that's too bad, Kevin. Mm, I'm sorry to hear like that. We were close, so I wanted to talk to her. Gee, I'm sorry to hear that. But, you know, that's... Who was that? His mother-in-law. Kevin's Ex. mother-in-law. Yeah. But he got along with her. Ex-mother-in-law. Ex-mother-in-law, he said. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Uh, Kevin. 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 Oh, Kevin. Kevin, that's why he waved <clears throat> goodbye. Okay. Sorry to hear that. Oh, he's uh, hate to see people go for that reason. I mean, go on the show. You know what I mean. Uh, anyway, 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 uh, turn off your uh, turn off your uh, yeah. because I'm yeah. going to close this show off anyway. And start playing the theme here. Um, yeah, that's it for tonight. I hope I wasn't depressing people too much during the beginning, but I'm just so. You know what's great about this? I enjoyed so much talking to you people tonight that it made me kind of forget my problems. So that's, uh, you know, that's a good reason to do it. And the shows the last couple of nights have been terrific. Uh, hey, listen, I want to thank uh, 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 Scott for being here. Thank you, Scott. Love having you on the show. Uh, Charlie, thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you to uh, um, uh, Bree. Thank you to Ray. Thank you to Patrick. And, and thanks also to Kevin, who was here uh, for a while until he got that unfortunate call. Uh, what I'd like you all to do, if you would, is to just uh, like, uh, oh, I don't know, give me a big wave goodbye and I'll wave back at you, okay? And everybody else at home, wave at them as well. Wave at me. There I am. Okay. Anyway, that's it for our uh, our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, the next show up is uh, Jack Bishop. He's going to be here with the, uh, with the program called uh, the uh, intersection. Uh, I'll be here again tomorrow night. Uh, same uh, time, same station in life, uh, same, same misery. <laughs> and in the meantime, as always, if I see you, if you see her, what do you mean if I see you? If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye bye, everybody. Bye.